you mean to me? Hey everyone, welcome back to the Half Soy Bean channel. My name is Sharon, and today is another episode of Merry Soy Bean. This is a series where I share some ideas on outfits and gifts that you can make over Christmas and New Year's. So hopefully there are some ideas in this series that you find helpful. Today we are doing something really exciting because I'm going to be sewing for my entire family. This is not just my own family unit, but also including Kevin's family. So it's eight people in total. I don't have any relatives here, so this is all I have. The inspiration behind this is I've always wanted to have ugly Christmas sweaters, but it's just so impractical and there's no point in me having one because it's so, so, so hot in Australia during Christmas time. But I thought maybe I could make ugly Christmas summer clothes for all of my family and I think it would be fun if we all get dressed up together. We're about a, a bit over a week out from Christmas and it's a little bit later than I wanted to have left this project because I've never sewn for so many people, uh, so many people with diverse body shapes and sizes so uh, it's going to be really interesting. I don't know how it's going to turn out. I'm going to keep the uh, clothes that I make as simple as possible. I've got my fabric. They're all Christmas themed. Australian flora and fauna. I'm absolutely obsessed. We have a kookaburra in a Santa hat. We've got bilbies in a Santa hat. Bilbies and Christmas stockings. Got echidna in a Santa hat. Got a wombat and koalas. Another echidna. And we also have this kangaroo in a Santa hat. And I feel like these are just the cutest things ever. They are by a artist named Jocelyn Proust and she does a lot of prints in Australian flora and fauna and I just love them so 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 much. The two dads, they're gonna get a buttoned up shirt. Kevin's also gonna get a buttoned up shirt. Uh, the two mums are going to get a blouse, just a short sleeve blouse. And then I think myself and Kevin's sister, I'm just going to make a wrap skirt. It's going to be the same one that I made a tutorial for. It's the beginner friendly wrap skirt and that's super easy and pretty fast to make. So I'm going to go with that for us. My little brother who is still a small person I think I'm just gonna make a pair of shorts for him for the parents I am going to be following a commercial pattern just because I haven't got their individual body measurements on me so I'm just gonna like guesstimate what their sizes are I've got this McCall's pattern it's meant to be really easy this one comes in sizes small to x large so that's really helpful even though there's a picture of a little person on the front cover you actually have to purchase separately so it's not included in this unfortunately otherwise I would have made something for my little brother from this pattern because commercial pattern paper is so thin and I'm too lazy to transfer the sizes onto something else I just dot where the texture laid right on top of the fabric because usually the ink just goes right through the paper then I am just able to connect the dots from there and I just find this the easiest but I am open to other tips that save time I cut all the fabric pieces for the two dads and Kevin's shirt I have gone ahead and done one shirt this is Kevin's dad's one the kookaburra santa did you know that the kookaburra is the largest family member of the kingfisher family except that they will literally eat anything not just fish including stealing food off your barbecue which actually happened to me they're probably best known for their call which sounds like a laugh It was great, pretty simple. Um, the only part that was a little bit tricky for me was the collar, but I think I've got the hang of it now. So I'll be sharing how to make these in one of the other fabrics. There's no need for me to keep repeating the instructions. So I'm gonna go ahead and make Kevin's and my dad's now, but I will demonstrate on either one of those. I actually decided that I want to work on them simultaneously. I don't know if that's gonna be like very productive, but okay, the first step is to attach the back panel and the front two panels together by the shoulders. And then finish off that raw edge with the overlocker. Then 
This is the armhole section of the front and back of the shirt. Then we're going to get the sleeve, put it down right sides together, pin that all along this curve, and then sew that down. Now we want to sew up the side of the shirt. So this is the open sleeve and this is the open side of the shirt and we just want to sew across, right across here. Then press the sleeve edge and sew down. This is the collar. It has been put right sides together and I am just going to sew along the sides and the long edge here. And then what you do, you put in these cuts you will fold like so and i'm just gonna press into that with my nail because i'm too lazy to get the um, iron pin this collar onto the right side of the shirt then you want to sew across that entire length of the collar but sewing right next to the fold instead of directly on it then attach the facing with a collar in the middle of the shirt and facing. That slit that we cut earlier, that stops right where these, this shoulder seam ends as well. Then sew down that edge of the collar that we folded down before and all the raw edges are tucked underneath that. Now it's time for the buttons. I had these in my collection and I like them because they're a bit like snowflakes so I thought it was appropriate for these shirts. I put in the button holes and then hand sewed the buttons in and my tag went on the bottom of the shirt hem. So I got Papa Soybean to model his shirt for us. I reckon it looks really cute on him and he really loves it as well. I gave it to him a bit early because um, my family found out I was making these anyway. And here is me modeling the shirt for Kevin's dad and Kevin's shirt. I mean, they're all the same shirt, but I highly recommend this pattern because it was really simple and relatively fast to sew up. Let me know which fabric print you like the best. Okay, it's time to sew up the skirts for myself and Kevin's sister. I'm not going to go too deep into the method because I have a whole tutorial on a beginner friendly wrap skirt which I will link below. The only difference is that for her skirt I used buttons instead of ties. And also for both our skirts they are a mini length rather than a midi length. I think this type of wrap skirt is great especially if you don't know someone's exact measurements but can approximate what it might be. I can easily move the buttons for her if she wants to tighten or loosen the waist. I put a buttonhole at each end of the skirt and sewed in the buttons. Here is what her skirt looks like. I think the koalas are just adorable and I really hope she likes it. I made my own skirt off camera. It's this green kangaroo print one with ties. I love it, it fits great, and it reminded me of when I went to an animal sanctuary about two years ago. Here's Kevin with a wallaby, which is like a smaller version of a kangaroo. It was so sweet and came up to us even though we had no food to offer. I didn't even imagine I'd start a YouTube channel back then, but I wish I had more video footage. <laughs> This one's a kangaroo and here's a koala, very adorable. This is a wombat. Did you know that their poops are cube shaped? And here are Aussie animal cookies we made one time as well. Okay, we'll move on to my brother's shorts. I basically just copied a pair of shorts he already owned, but made them a little bit longer and slightly roomier for him to grow into. Just really easy elastic waistband pair of shorts, the easiest out of everyone's clothes. 
Here's what they look like on him. He told me he really likes him, so I'm really happy. He paired them with a red t-shirt all by himself. I didn't even tell him to do that. It's so cute. The shorts have echidnas and ants on them. Echidnas are not to be confused with hedgehogs. They are monotremes, which means that they are mammals that lay eggs. Echidna babies are called Puggles, which is a really cute name. And you might know another famous monotreme being Perry the Platypus. Did you know that instead of having nipples, milk seeps out of their skin for their babies to drink? Right, to the mom's blouses. I said at the start that I would follow a commercial pattern, but it never arrived. So I printed this free tunic pattern that I have linked below. It is sleeveless and can be shortened to be a top or lengthened to be a dress. It doesn't have instructions or I just couldn't find them, but it was relatively easy to sew together. I just made my own sleeve pieces to attach to the top, which turned out really nice as well. And instead of finishing the neckline with the facings like the pattern had, I just used a bias tape. Now, both of these tops have bilbies on them and they are very cute rabbit looking creatures. They are nocturnal and like many Australian animals, they are marsupials and have a pouch on their tummy to carry their babies, like koalas and kangaroos. Here is Mummy Swaybean modeling her shirt for us. Yes, she is matching with my dad because she specifically requested to be so. I think it's super flattering on her and it looks really great. If you've made it this far, here is a photo of my parents matching together. How adorable. And here is Kevin and I in our Christmas clothes as well. I don't have photos of anyone else yet, so that's all for now. I am modeling Kevin's mum's top here. It's the same one and I anticipate that it will look just as great on her as it did on my mum. It's time to wrap the presents for Kevin's family. I folded up the clothes to the best of my ability and for wrapping I just used paper that I already had. This is some IKEA kids craft paper that I usually use to draft patterns and then I just did some quick drawings on one side of them to make it a little bit prettier and we're done. Well that concludes today's episode of Merry Sovine. I hope you guys stay safe over Christmas and New Year's and other than that I will see you very soon in the next video.